Good morning, folks. Mark here on the Culinary Compass. I find myself on a train yet again in Europe. My computer, my laptop, is precariously positioned. And if you'd like to see what I think is a pretty funny uh, episode of Culinary Compass from the past, click on the link below this to see the last time I was on a train talking about food. And I'm on my way from Schoenhauser Alley, which is pretty close to the center of Berlin, out to Schoenfeld Airport. My back of goodness. <laughs> okay. Now look at this. So, this is like a, a super German scone covered in beautiful icing. Okay, so, and this is the, the Schweinende. This is the Schweinende, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm. You know what's really good about this? The inside here is very bready. It's like cake, but it's not sweet. It's not super buttery. So really it's this top and the top is so crunchy. So this is very good, the Schweinbinder. I'm gonna look this up online, make sure I have the right one. Mm. That's very good. Not too sweet. Good for coffee. Hmm? It's the German scone we're called, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Mm. Yes, it's color. Number two. So, look at this baby, huh? This inside is cheese. <laughs> My laptop may go down again. And this one is the Korl Lundler. Korl Lundler. You know, these are all made in a little place. But it's it's a chain. A little chain next to the train station, but made in the place. It's crazy here in Germany. Crazy here in Europe, the way they, they do that. That homemade thing, you know? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. It's cheesecake. The cheesecake filling surrounded by a beautiful, nice, loving, not a mille foy, but it's definitely some layers in there. All right. <laughs> Forget about it. Oh my god, it's so good. Freaking out of control good. Mm. I found a problem with this. The cheese is located strategically in such a way that if you put your mouth in the middle, like this, you end up getting a little messy. So this one requires some strategy in relation to the way you eat it. Now the last one is the Germans taking advantage of the French. And here's why I say this, for those of you who know, this is a palmier. This is a French invention. And if you look at the other side, it's really just very, very, it's butter and a little flour, but woven into this gorgeous, well, many of you have eaten this. So the Germans made it their own by putting some icing on it. Seems to be a theme. The question is, does it have the flakiness on the inside? I doubt it, but I think it'll still be okay. And this here is called the Struss Schlalinder. Ay, ay, ay. It's pretty good too. Um, it's a little flaky, but it doesn't have that crispy, flaky thing that, you know, a palmier is. But I have to admit that the royal icing on top, combined with the little flakiness on the bottom, is it's okay. All right, so for the culinary compass, of course, ciao for now, but a Vita Zan, of course. So, <laughs> mm.